What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Nikon Z6 and see if it's still good in 2023. And yes, it is still an amazing camera to use if you are trying to find one or you're thinking about buying one. I've had my Nikon Z6 for about a little over four years now and it was the Nikon camera that I wanted. I sold my D750 for this camera and haven't looked back, no regrets. As much as I loved using the Nikon D750, I really wanted the Z6 for its video capabilities. And this was Nikon's first mirrorless camera, finally. I still remember getting my Nikon D750 back in 2014 and four years later they released a z6 in 2018 so i was really happy for that i didn't get it until 2019 but when they announced the z6 and z7 being released had to get one and just going to the specs of the z6 it has a 24.5 megapixel full frame sensor it does have in-body image stabilization but we'll get back to that later it does shoot 12 fps and the iso ranges from 100 to 51,200, and it can be expanded to 204,000 at high 2.0 which i think the low light performance is really good in this camera especially if you know what you're doing it can record 4k Ultra HD at 30, 25, and 24 FPS. And just going straight to it, there's a lot more things I like about the Nikon Z6 versus the things I don't like about it. One of the things I do like about the Nikon Z6 compared to my DSLRs is the autofocus performance, especially for portraits. Specifically for portraits, the face and eye autofocus is incredible. It's definitely a game changer if you're doing more portraits as well. I have the latest firmware as of February 2023. It's firmware 3.5 and I previously had firmware 2.1 and just from that firmware to firmware 3.5 it is a huge difference i can already tell that the autofocus is very snappy especially for face and eye detection and another great thing i like about this camera is the slow-mo i love using it for my b-roll and footage and i love using it for events if you want to capture that slow motion for me it was a kind of like a learning curve but once you get the hang of using the slow-mo it's actually a really nice tool to use especially if you love doing b-rolls and another great thing about this camera is the touch screen and the built-in wi-fi the touch screen is very nice as you can see here just moving from image to image without pressing buttons compared to like my DSLRs is very nice and intuitive. Another great thing I like about this camera compared to my DSLRs too is the built-in Wi-Fi. I know the older Nikon DSLRs don't have it but the new modern DSLRs like the D5300 and the D3500s and so on does have the built-in Wi-Fi but my older Nikon DSLRs don't. I use Nikon Snapper Jab while I'm transferring images and it's been working flawlessly for me. If you've had issues with it comment below and let me know some of us can help out. And another great thing I like about this camera is the IBIS, the in-body image stabilization. If you're doing night photos and you don't have a tripod, I've had great results with using lower shutters. But if you're doing videos and you're walking around, don't expect it to be gimbal smooth. If you're walking very carefully, it's not too bad. Usually when I'm doing B-roll, I am using a Z lens. But if I'm recording B-roll in slow-mo, it'd be pretty hard if you're standing still. But if you're walking, it'll definitely show that there is shake in the footage. Like I said before, there's a lot more good things than there is bad things about the Nikon Z6. And after using it for four years, I feel like it's more nitpicking now but here's just some of the things i don't like about the nikon z6 one thing is the side covers the side covers for the z6 for some reason is just not as good i have my nikon dslrs and they've been fine but with the z6 I don't know what Nikon did. They just gave up with the quality of the side doors and it's really hard to close them back up. I know people have said like you can use gaffer's tape but I don't want my cameras to be really sticky on the side because I do use it a lot. And if you have a solution for this issue for the side doors, please comment below because I would love to know. And another bad thing about this camera is that I could tell from my D750 and Z6 is the backlight issue. When your subject is backlit and your subject is darker than your background, it's going to struggle to find that focus on your subject. I've had this happen to me plenty of times Times, but on my D750, I felt like it wasn't that bad of an issue compared to the Z6. Just talking about the autofocusing issues with the FTZ, I personally haven't had any issues with it They're using my Nikon G or AFS lenses. But if you do have a Sigma, Tamron, or Tokina lens, especially the older ones, just make sure it's compatible with the FTZ. I do know that some of the older Sigma, Tamron, and Tokina lenses will not autofocus with the FTZ adapter. Putting out there, I know some photographers have already told me to switch. I've already invested years of my Nikon lenses collection for the Nikon mirrorless system and most of my lenses been working flawlessly with my Z6 and the FTZ adapter. And I don't see a reason to move on, especially if I'm not doing a lot of very serious work on a weekly basis. But if you are doing more professional video work like music videos or fast action subjects and such like that, I would take a look at the Z9. I feel like the Z6 is going to be excellent for portrait photography and doing B-roll. It's going to be an excellent camera for your everyday use. I've been using this camera for four years and it's been really reliable for me. Haven't had any issues. So yeah, overall the Nikon Z6 is still a very solid camera. Let's be looking for your next 
Nikon mirrorless system, I would say that Z6 is still a very capable camera. For example, if you're going from like a D750 or a D800 or any of the pro DSLRs and you want to switch to a mirrorless system and you don't really do a lot of professional video work on a daily basis or a weekly basis, or if you're not doing sports on a weekly basis, I feel like the Z6 is for you, especially if you're doing portraits. So if you have a Nikon Z6, please comment below and let me know what you use it for. And if you have any questions about the Nikon Z6, feel free to ask and I can try to help and hopefully other users can help too. And I'll list in the description below on the lenses I love using on this camera. And if you're interested in watching more Nikon Z videos, I do have videos of my 24 to 70 f4 review in my channel. So you can check out that video and I also have a review on this camera when I first bought it as well. I just want to say I really appreciate everyone watching and if you like this video, please like and subscribe as it helps my channel a lot. Thanks and see ya.